Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to Mason African Motives, uh, still on Engineering Science N2. Uh, in this platform, we've got a question friction from the question paper of November 2022 uh, that we are going to focus on working on each and every person uh, on question six. So we are given the first part, which is on 6.1. Uh, to name one application of friction in practice. All right, so I'm just going to show you uh, some of the applications that we can use in practice, all right? Uh, in this case, we have got uh, friction can bring uh, linear and rotational movement to a stand still. So due to friction, we can bring any movement to a stand still, okay? Also due to friction, friction is used to drive devices, components, and machines. So it can be used to drive machines or any component uh, that we have, uh, some of the components in our industry. Uh, then friction is also used to claim a workpiece. Okay, if you are given a workpiece, uh, a friction can also play a part in clamping of a workpiece. All right, so that's what we had on question 6.2. Then uh, on question 6.1, okay, then 6.2, we are now given that there is a body that we are given of 70, of mass 70 kgs, which is being pulled down an incline. Take note, this body is being pulled down an incline with an angle of 10 degrees to the horizontal. The friction force against the motion is 200 Newton. Draw a neat sketch to show the above motion and label all the forces acting on a body and indicate the direction of each force. Okay, take note, but just take note guys, two marks to show all the forces into the directions. But anyways, uh, that was the question. So we're supposed to answer this one, uh, no matter what the condition that we are given. All right, so here I'm just going to put down a sketch of how it is going to look like. So we put our horizontal line, uh, then in this case, we have got our plane like this. All right, so something like that. So remember that in the angle that we are given in this case of the plane between uh, this and plane is at 10 degrees, okay. And we are given that this block that we are given, uh, it's, it, it is actually moving downwards, okay. It is being, uh, drawn downwards, uh, given a board with mass 70 kgs is pulled down, okay? So this is the mass, uh, the block that we have or whatever object that we have uh, having a mass of uh, 70 kgs, okay? So we shall have a mass here of 70 kgs. So take note, if it is going down, therefore we must have a force acting uh, that is pulling this uh, downwards, okay? And as it is being pulled downwards, definitely it is going to be opposed in the other direction where we have our frictional force in this direction, okay? And let's check here, do we have the frictional force? We are given the force, uh, the frictional force against the motion is 200 Newton. So we are given this as 200. So the frictional force is equivalent to 200 Newton, all right. And uh, as we know that due to the angle of 10 degrees, if we are to represent this angle of 10 degrees here, we shall have our perpendicular component and also having the parallel component. So you can even indicate our parallel component here, then the perpendicular component uh, like this, okay? And uh, our W due to gravity, uh, okay? and also the normal reaction. Okay, this is supposed to be straight, okay? Our normal uh, reaction. Okay, guys, very sorry for that. So you're gonna have something of this nature here. That's our normal reaction, which is going up, okay? So due to the angle of uh, 10 degrees uh, that we have, we have got uh, the parallel component, okay, which is our parallel, we can even indicate even this way, we can even indicate down here or even on top, okay? So that's our parallel component, which we know it's a W sine of theta, okay? So this is W sine of theta, which is 10 degrees. And here we've got our FC, we or F parallel or F perpendicular, 
which is W cos of theta, of which you know that W is mg. So this can be written as mg, uh, or we can just write as W, okay? So this is our W, which is equivalent to mg. All right, so I think with this information, yeah, everything is there. If uh, we've got uh, used everything from the diagram, uh, I think every information is there. All right, so uh, now on 6.3, we are now asked to refer to question 6.2. Take note, this was 6.2, where we have drawn uh, the sketch. Now on 6.3, I asked you to refer from that 6.2 to calculate the coefficient of friction, and that's uh, two marks. All right, so we are referring to the diagram that we have here and all the information that we can use that we are given, uh, that's question 6.31. Okay, uh, we know that uh, the coefficient of friction is actually supposed to be equivalent to the frictional force over the normal reaction, okay, of which we are not given N. We have the frictional force, which is 200, but what about N, which is the normal reaction? We know that M N is equivalent uh, to Mg, okay? That will be Mg cos of theta or W cos theta. So remember here, we can write as W cos of theta, okay? So because it's opposed due to the perpendicular, these two, they oppose each other. So we are going to take uh, our N uh, or Fc, okay? So that's mg cos of theta, which is uh, m, the mass of 70 kgs times 9,8, our gravitational acceleration times cos theta, which is cos uh, 10 degrees, okay? So let's see what we are going to obtain in this case. So if you simplify properly, we are going to have something like 675, uh comma five seven eight newton okay so that is what we are going to have in this case uh so we can divide uh the frictional force which is the one that we are given before the one on the diagram here of 200 so that will be 200 uh over our n which is uh 675 so it's going to be 675 comma 578 all right so if we divide properly, we are going to obtain something like 0, 0,2, uh, 9, 6, something like that, or 0, 0,3, okay? So this is going to be the coefficient of friction in this case, okay? Uh, then on the other part, we need the component of weight parallel. Take note, this is parallel to the plane. And we have this uh, on our formula sheet given as Fs, or we can write it in this form as uh, F parallel, okay? The, like the one that I indicated here. So this is 6.32. So you can write this as Fs, or you can write this as F parallel like this, which is equivalent to W sine theta parallel to the plane. So this is the one that is going parallel to the plane. So that's W sine of theta. We calculated uh, W before, uh, or we just combined here. Okay, we didn't calculate exactly, but we know that W is equivalent to mg. So it's going to be mg sine of theta in this case. That's 70 times g, 9,8 times the sine of theta. So everything is going to repeat your theta, which is the angle of 10 degrees, okay? So this is going to give us uh, something like 119,123. If you want off properly, that would be 123 Newton. Okay, so we have the parallel uh, component in this case. Okay, that's 6.32. Then on 6.33, we are now asked the force required to pull the body down the incline. Take note, guys. The one that is required to pull the body down the incline. So we need uh, F down or FD, okay? So we know that F down is the difference between the frictional force and the parallel uh, component in this case, okay? So we can even write it on this space. We know that uh, as from our formula sheet, uh, F down is equivalent to, so this is F down here. So the formula is there in your formula sheet, guys, okay? So that's F down is equivalent to the uh, frictional force minus 
uh, the parallel component, which is written as the parallel component like this, or you can write it as FS. Sometimes they might write it as FS from the formula sheet. Okay, so that's how we can find our F down. So F down is equivalent to uh, the frictional force. We have our frictional force here. Uh, remember our frictional force is 200, okay? So this is going to be 200 here. So we've got 200 minus the parallel component, which is the one that we calculated here. We obtain the parallel component as 119,123, okay? So this is comma 123. All right, so if we subtract, that is going to be the resultant for this force that is going down or the component going down, which is 80. Uh, we are going to obtain 80, 877 Newton. All right. So that's what we had, guys. Uh, that's 6.33, marking the last equation on uh, friction from this question paper. And the whole of the question was actually nine marks. Okay. So you need to work out, guys, and obtain these marks. It's not like uh, there are few marks. It's like a lot. This is a lot. If you have got uh, 40, if you add this, which means you are now at 49. That's a lot of marks. Okay, so that's what we had, guys, from this paper, uh, friction from November 2022 20, question paper uh, from Mesod African Motives. Till we meet again.